Jimmy, and uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to be with you today, and we really appreciate you uh, taking the time, the effort, and making the trek here to uh, New Hampshire to experience this whole new 2018 Honda Accord. You know, in a few minutes, you're going to hear about how we completely reimagined this 10th generation Accord. But uh, as you uh, heard last night, uh, I recently announced my plans to retire on December 1st. So I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you who I've uh, worked with over the last few years for the patience you've had with me over those last few years. Uh, you know, I've uh, been lucky I've had a pretty incredible career with Honda. And while I'm coming to terms with the fact that uh, you know, I'm on the home stretch of a 41-year career in the auto industry and 35 of it with Honda. Uh, I felt that this was really the right time for me to go. And the reality is I've got some great confidence in the gentleman who was selected as my successor, a uh, fellow named Tenio Arcangeli. And you'll have the opportunity to meet him in the relative near future. But uh, as I plan for my departure, the reality is also that our Honda brand is stronger than it has ever been. We've seen record sales in each of the past three years, and we're on the cusp of a fourth year of record sales. Honda is one of only two full-line, non-luxury brands in positive retail sales territory for the year, and that's despite 2.7% decline in overall industry sales through the end of August. We've continued on our aggressive new model offensive in the past year. That includes seven all-new or significantly redesigned vehicles, including an all-new CRV and Odyssey, the Civic SI Coupe and Sedan, the Civic Type R, of course that's a great vehicle, a refreshing 2018 uh, fit, our Clarity Series, and now the all-new Accord. So based on these products, Honda's market leadership is stronger than ever. We're in the top two spots in retail sales in nearly every segment in which we compete. And we're doing this while maintaining our disciplined approach to the marketplace with incentive spending among the lowest in the business which more than anything else demonstrates the fact that our customers are buying Hondas because of the strength of the product and not just the upfront deal. You know, speaking of my four decades in this business, it's hard to believe that we're here talking about the 10th generation and 41st year of Accord in America. Over four decades and 10 generations, the Accord has continued to advance our core values of clean, safe, fun, and connected. You know, as many of you realize, Accord has long been a leader in environmental performance from its original CVCC engine and its long-standing fuel economy leadership to its status as the first model to be sold under the stringent LEV, ULEV, and SULEV uh, low emission standards. And in safety, Accord has always run at the front of the pack, consistently earning top safety ratings and integrating our latest and greatest thinking, including our ACE body structure, and with the current model, the addition of our industry-leading Honda Safe Sensing Safety and Driver Assistive Technologies as standard equipment on every trim. Of course, Fun to Drive has also always been a hallmark of the Accord name. It's one of the key reasons Accord has landed on car and driver's 10 best list 31 times more than any other car of any type. And finally, in the area of connectivity, where in 2015, Accord was among the first cars to adopt both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. <clears throat> Accord also epitomizes our commitment to local production. It was the first Honda model and for that matter, the first car of any Japanese automaker to be built in America and has been in continuous production since the startup of the Marysville Auto Plant nearly 35 years ago, and that being in November of 1982. Today, Accord holds the distinction of being the best-selling car in America over the past 40 years, with American car buyers purchasing more than 13 million Accords, and with more than 11 million of those produced right here in America. 
The 2018 Accord is not only an all new from the ground up design, building it also required a new from the ground up approach at our production plant at the Marysville Auto Plant. We're doubling down on the Accord with a recently announced investment of $267 million at the Marysville plant and an engine plant which, is, which produces Accord's two new turbocharged engines as well as the two liter engine in the Accord hybrid. We also added 300 jobs at the two plants in Ohio to meet customer demand both here and in overseas <coughs> markets that are served by those Ohio plants. Now, we really enjoyed the positive initial response that all of you guys had to the Accord at its July debut in Detroit. But, but as you might have expected, some of that coverage included a discussion of declining car sales in an SUV-crazed marketplace. And we're not denying, we're benefiting from that craze. Uh, that, that, that boom has helped us as well as everybody else. But to paraphrase Mark Twain, news concerning the death of mid-sized cars, or at least our mid-sized car, is greatly exaggerated. Mid-sized sedan sales will still top 2 million units this year. <coughs> and excluding full-size pickups, mid-sized cars are the third largest segment after compact CUVs and compact cars. And mid-sized sedans are outpacing mid-sized SUVs this year by nearly half a million vehicles. And at the front of that pack is a Accord which in the fifth and final year of its model cycle trails only Civic in passenger car sales race, outpacing every SUV on the market but two, one being our own all-new CRV. And to look at it a little differently, if Accord were a brand unto itself, it would outsell 30 of 41 automotive brands in the industry. 30 of 41, that's pretty strong. So unless you're prepared to argue that Volkswagen, Audi, Mazda, and Chrysler have no market relevance, I think you have to acknowledge that Accord is a major player in its own right. In fact, since 1982, we've sold an Accord every two minutes for 41 years. There are precious few vehicles of any type anywhere in the world that can make that claim. And if the web traffic on the new Accord is any indication, consumer interest remains very strong. For example, Motor Trend's coverage of Accord's July 14th debut is one of the top three stories in the history of their website. And Accord holds the top spot in views on KBB's Class of 2018 review. Now we're looking forward to delivering to those customers uh, an Accord that they really couldn't imagine. A 10th generation Accord that once again defines the segment. In a second, I'll turn the podium over to the development leader of the new Accord, Mr. Yamato. But I can tell you that this is unquestionably our most comprehensive redesign of Accord ever. For any of you who joined us in Detroit or happened to watch the webcast, you may have heard me talk about the fact that my very first company car was a 1982 Accord hatchback. And standing here 35 years later, I honestly can't think of a better way to end my time than at the way it started, behind the wheel of a shiny new Accord. This 10th generation Honda Accord reflects everything that we've learned over the course of four decades, how to make a truly world-class car and then some. And I can't wait to hear your impressions during and after the drive today. So thank you for your time this morning. Oh.